Hey, you got some news about some horror thing that's gonna and that's moving up here. Oh no, I just met them. Um, All right, North, Northland Horror. And so I, I put them in touch with you as um, I know you're a big community person locally yeah. and they're wanting to make a footprint in the north. It's good. They didn't know about yeah. Plunge and I showed them. And I mm. mean, cosplay, horror, comics, it's all all the same yeah. family. And like probably the one strength is kind of working together in, a, in that kind of yeah. creative community. So I, I checked out some of their stuff and it was just real cool. So I had the pleasure of mm. meeting them. Uh, and it'd be nice to see them evolve. Like I appreciate a bit of horror, and then <laughs> I was just seeing about going oh. along with my work or something, and having a a bit of a scare fest or something. Yeah, I mean, like for uh, with us, I mean, like Northern Horror. I mean, you know, um, Shane himself, he does. Um, um, he's a horror. He does a lot of horror. Um, horror. Um, was called um, artwork, right? He's right mm -hmm. into it. His favorite character is uh, Ash from Evil Dead. <laughs> and you know, so I mean, I've watched all those uh, movies growing up, and I've been used to be a huge fan of horror movies, and all movies actually. I mean, I've been. I always you know, liked like, Hellraiser. Pinhead. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Hellraiser the three. Books, the books <laughs> down here somewhere. Uh, uh, um, I mean, like Clive Barker and stuff. You know, um, I think yeah. there's. I don't. Oh, I'm, I might be missing Hellbound Crazy Heart, dude. but I've got Cabal. Right. Um, my favorite one out of all of this, which it's a monster movie. Right. Um, what is it called? There's um, good art books of all his characters. They don't always get like heaps of screen time, but he's got some pretty, pretty good variety and freaky looking characters and stories. Nightbreed. That's the one I was mm, thinking of. That's this is what, that's, um, that's based on this. It's like one of the most ultimate monster movies you can go to, <laughs> and it's a it's a really good heroic arc. Like it's a totally different. You know, it's a really interesting arc with. Um, Nightbreed because it's um it's, I think um what he does with that is that he with Cabal right it's about a crazy, who you think is a crazy person because he's getting psychiatric help at the start and he's you know he's like uh, he's he's getting given these meds and being told that you know he's just imagining things and stuff and. And it's like, and it just builds and builds and it's scary as hell. I mean, really, I, I think I was like about, when did it come out? I think it was nine, um, 89 or something it came out. Yeah, it'd be uh, back in the 80s. Yeah, it was sure. about 88, 89, because of the book here, um, when was this written? We can find out. Let's have a look. Um, let me see. 80, um, this one's copyright 88. So this was printed on um, paperback came out at 89. So I reckon around about around that time. Oh, 1990, the Nightbreed movie. There you right. go. I had, the, I had the picture book. Wrong decade. The, yeah, I had the movie. I had the <laughs> movie. Okay, with all book. the characters. That was, yeah. that, I've got that. Have you? Badass. But yeah, for any, any character designer, right? there's some awesome yeah. stuff in there. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, I was just, I mean, I came out of like Iron Maiden and Eddie and um, uh, Megadeth and uh, Metallica and straight went into, you know, watching that movie. And when I was in Auckland, I had the po mo movie poster from the from the VHS shop at that time. And I had copies of it uh, as well. And I was like, you know, and that's what got me into, um, you know, reading all his books. And I'm slowly recollecting his, you know, his books. And I've got The Great Secret Show. I've got Cabal. And I've bought. I got Everville this week as well. I can't remember if I've read Everville, uh, but I think um, he's. Um, I think it was the Great and Sugar Show has a, was it moved and uh, turned into a comic book, and Nightbreed was of course a comic book from Epic Marvel series, uh, yeah. Marvel um, mature series, and they did a really co really cool job. Now Boom was it Boom they brought out uh, Nightbreed a couple of years back, or was it IDW? Um, I'm not they, sure. Well, Let's have a name. No, it was no, it wasn't that one. It was Hellblazer, Hellraiser. Sorry, it was Hellraiser they brought out. Oh, yeah. I think I've got a couple of copies of it somewhere. Um, of um, I think a sketch version or something. Was it IDW? Maybe. Be, but, uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, boom. So I mean, boom. You're boom. right. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. So for anybody who's into um, horror with like with imagination, like he's the opposite of uh, Clive Buck. Um, sorry, Stephen King, right? 
So he's the fantasy horror writer compared to um, Stephen King's people and situation writer. So if you look, you know, if you want something that's like like the Tolkien version, Tolkien version of horror, you want to. It's Clive Barker's your guy to go to, and yeah. Um, so I mean, what's your? I mean, you was you said help raise the what's your favorite? So what was your? Yeah. What's your favorite horror movie? Um, I, I liked Hellraiser three. It was they had that nightclub okay. scene that was pretty good. Um, okay, I liked so, um going New Zealand. Uh, Brain Dead. Peter Jackson was <laughs> was was a favorite. Yeah. Um, what else do I like? I like most horror movies. I, I was a big Scream fan, but that kind of went out the window. Some movies just need to stop with the first one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think <laughs> now Hellraiser one was when you know it's the first with the, yeah, with the ball the hammer and the basement and then the blood yeah. brought back and then the, the second guy. one was was it the big log statue thing that was the third one. Oh, that was the third one so that's one the that went out all the fish hooks and pulled off the chick's skin and then they had yeah. the nightclub scene where they just murdered everyone mm. that was good they use a lot more nightclub type scenes now i've noticed and a lot of uh, like not like like that sort of all out attack that they do in movies now where they didn't used to do that prior it'll be well, just like that's, a big, single... that's probably quite expensive with all the stuff like it'd be hard to pull off a, a mm. powerful thing with that many people and things going on i remember hearing about how they, they use buckets of pig's blood in hellraiser to <laughs> give it its realism and the you know i think um christy the actress who played christy or kirsty i think it was christy and the main lead actress she was like always felt sick because being around that and the smells i think she was something like that this is like going back about oh, fair 80, enough. 87 when i first remember watching and hearing about my the you know the the uh, the um the video retailer telling oh you know library guy telling me hey a rental place telling me this is what's this is what's in it you know i'm like about 16 15 16 watching it so you know, yeah. so I started really early, and I think my first horror movie was The Hand, the the, the comic uh, about the artist illustrator who loses his hand, and oh, his it's, it's familiar. Yeah, that was when I was. Uh, it was on TV, and I remember watching it like this. Mum was holding me, and I'm watching it like this, like I'm being <laughs> hugging my mum, and I'm like, I'm like about That's ten. A good horror eight. movie. <laughs> yeah, nine or eight years old. I think it's Richard. Cranenborough or somebody like that in it. Oh, Michael Caine. Michael Caine's in that one. Oh, yeah. That, that reminds me of like yeah. the the Seed People. That was a, a freaky man. I don't. What was the Seed People? Are you not you're not talking um, about the, the, the tomatoes, are you? No, but the Seed People's. Oh, it's got a. I, I'd have to look it up. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's mm. got um. Ah. Oh. It's, it's really good. They're, they're like pod people. They get replicated, and then they go, uh, and make a squealing noise and all point at them, and they, they they take over the town and become all the civilians, and then they try and um, hide amongst them, pretending that they're pod people too. Oh, so, I, I can't remember. It's going to make me seem ignorant now, but <laughs> it was a goodie. Um, at Donald Sutherland. Um, Donald Sutherland, seed people. This is, different. Um, this is better. Oh, um, body snatchers! Invasions of the body snatchers. Pod people. There we go. That's close. Is that what? Yeah. So it was something <laughs> that, like was, that. that was a classic. Yeah, it's Spock in it as well. Yeah, the hand is um, Andrea Bertolucci, and um, yeah, Andrea Mark no Marco Vici, and uh, Michael Caine. Yeah, that was the hand, and. Yeah, it's basically what was it about? That's um, let me just bring it up here. A comic book artist. So this is my first horror movie ever. Mm -hmm. You know, the hand. And um, so the theme is um, horror movie. So the theme is right. So the, so the theme is John Lansdale is a comic book artist who loses his right hand in a car accident the hand was not found at the scene of the accident but it soon returns by itself to follow john around and murder those who anger him <laughs> right so it's like well 
you don't want to give that that much of a plot away but here's a there's like someone who's written a whole biography of it <laughs> like that long sort of description of what it is all you got to say is like murderous hand right that you did know. you ever watch idle hands like the black comedy about the similar thing where his hands went bad <laughs> i might have it was like a seth I've green written. or someone it was a it was a comedy but a comedy horror it was funny his hand I got possessed by satan because it was idle <laughs> No, there's what that one come on. It would be a nineties movie, I'm pretty sure. So that's there is a ninety nine movie. Is it the one? Seth yeah, Green. Idle, I, Idle Hands, yeah, Seth Green. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, I've watched that's, this that, one. That was funny as yes. <laughs> the teenage slacker's right hand becomes possessed with mur murderous intent. So now it's a teenage slacker. It's like the opposite of the guy who's working really hard as an artist to the mm. to the young kid who's not working at all. <laughs> it might have been actually um uh, you know, in honor, it might have been inspired by the that original yeah. one could be. No, I, I mean, be. I didn't think at the time, but probably. Yeah, all inspired so, by something. So, so I think it was. So it's ninety nine. So watching Idle Hand is like watching an R R rated rendition of Beetlejuice. <laughs> um, it has it has the same tone as a Tim Burton classic, though it is basically a dark comedy. Emphasize the word dark as much as you can. There are some moments of graphic violence that the casual moviegoer might not expect out of a comedy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but most of us at that age would have really wanted that. So, yeah. <laughs> All I good. mean, I, I, I was just watching his. I, I would like. I think when I was living in Wellington up in Auckland, I basic. I think I watched every single movie they had in a three-year period that, in that in that library. Because I've been watching, like I'll just go pick, pick, pick. Yeah, drama, when you rent out comedy. ten horrors. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. basically no. It was like kind of like three, 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 three action, oh. three, uh, three comedy, three horror. I mean, three drama or horror. And it was basically just, me. I used to just get out a big pile of horrors <laughs> to yeah. watch everyone. <laughs> well, uh, there's more imagination in it, isn't there? I mean, when you think about horror movies, because you you're not just trying to frighten people. You're trying to like. But it's probably more mythology hero, and, and interesting, you know, out there concepts. But I mean, it is the fear. It's the fear that you want. You want to be like hiding behind your hand or whatever. Like <laughs> now, so what was your first movie you watched? You said first movie I watched or first, first horror movie. movie? Um, shit, <laughs> I don't so know. That the first movie I watched was Goonies, which wasn't really a horror movie, but was scary for it a was, young kid. Yeah. And then Return of the Jedi from memory. Goonies. Seeing that in the theaters was good. <laughs> I remember the Goonies. They're probably going to re um, reboot it sometime. Well, they kind of did. They made a um, movie on Hawaii that's like the sole ancestor of it. Like it's got some of the Goonies characters and, and little okay. Easter eggs in it when you watch it. Yeah. It's got the same kind of storyline. Save the save the house. We're going to lose the house in the area, and that's yeah. that's quite. It was it was all right. It was nice. It had data in it, and he had the pincers of power. <laughs> but he was just hanging out on the island. He was the guy's mate. But they put him yeah. in it on purpose because it was like Goonies. <laughs> Crack up! I remember. Yeah, I remember watching it on video. So I mean, because at that time movies weren't the thing that you know I'd go and watch. It was just like go to to um. Was it just to go watch? Um, yeah, just a hire a video. It was only a couple bucks, so you just that was the cheapest way to go. Uh, I used the, to... <laughs> yeah, when you're living in Moro, the closest thing a movie theater is in Whangarei, and I don't ever think I actually went to a movie theater in Whangarei as a kid until oh. my, into, until as an adult. And uh, I, the closest one I went to probably was at Kerry Kerry, which Shane, which Shane used to work at at some point. You oh, know, back in the day. Interesting. Inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, I think the first movie I went to was Ghost. Ghost? With the, yeah, with the Taiwanese so girlfriend I talked about before. <laughs> uh, yeah, she, yeah, I remember she hitting on me, and the week after, which, it's a weird day today, I remember about that, because it's a, because of Taiwan yesterday, and, you know, with China. And so, and then I saw a photo because I was looking for photos that I had to put together a, um, a proposal for plunge. 
and I, I was going through all the photos on on Facebook, and one was posted mm -hmm. in 2018 of her, and I was like, you know, and oh. so I remember she said to me, "Have you seen Ghost?" I said, "No," nah. and she said, "Well, let's go watch Ghost." So, and this is the first time I met her. She said, "Hey, would you like to watch a movie?" I'm like, "Okay," so we went, well, that and it already started. Oh. So we made a, made, a, made a date to go back and watch it the next week. Oh, nice. Well, the next time, and we did. Well, at least you yeah. chose the romantic horror movie. Well, not yeah, horror, it was but... It wasn't like, I mean, yeah, she had some big <laughs> Yeah. I always wonder where she is. Like, this is like friggin' uh, when I was 18, 17, 18. So this is like about 30 odd years ago. Oh, well, yeah, life goes so, on. She'll be somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing her thing. Hopefully with kids of her own. Well, yeah. not that I have any kids, but has lots of kids herself.